Welcome back to another video in this QuickBooks online tutorial series. So far we've covered pretty much all of the basics apart from the supplier side of QuickBooks and also the reporting side of QuickBooks. So I'm going to move into the supplier side of QuickBooks now. The good thing about the supplier side of QuickBooks is once you know the customer side, which we've already been through, then the supplier side is pretty easy to learn because it's almost identical. The layout is very similar. The way you add suppliers is pretty much identical to the way you add customers, recording supplier payments, editing supplier accounts. It's all very similar to the customer module, the customer side of things on QuickBooks Online. So let's jump in. So the supplier side of QuickBooks is under expenses it might actually say suppliers and then on expenses there's a supplier tab here if I click on suppliers it will take me to the supplier screen alternatively you can just click on the expenses and then choose the supplier screen when you click on expenses you might be taken to the expenses tab you can just use the tabs up here to move across to suppliers if it loads there we go okay so suppliers to add a new supplier we just use the new supplier button at the top right on the supplier screen on this page though you can see a list of all the suppliers that are currently showing on quickbooks online to add a new supplier i just click new supplier and fill in the details so new supplier We have four boxes here, name and contact, address, notes and attachments, and additional information. We simply just go through these boxes, fill in as much information as possible, click save, the supplier then will be added to QuickBooks Online. So if we start at the top here, so let's say this supplier name is called Joe Blogs. It could be Mr. Joe Blogs and he works for example supplier one limited the supplier display name is the name that's going to be displayed on the supplier list if I click on the drop down list here there are a few different options I can choose based on the information I've entered for this supplier but you can just delete this and enter anything that you like so for whatever reason, if you wanted the supplier to show as this on the suppliers list, you can enter that in. But let's just go for example, supplier one limited. So we want the company name to be the same as the display name and vice versa. You can put in the supplier's email address. So we can put example email and email.com. The phone number, the mobile number, The fax number, I do not know anyone who uses fax anymore. A other number, they have a other number to enter, and the website. Down at the bottom here, we have address details. So let's put in the supplier's details, the city, the county if you're based in the US or other parts of the world it might not say county it might say state or something like that there might be the odd difference on your software depending on where you are in the world but the process of adding a supplier should be the same no matter where you are and the country the next box is notes and attachments so in this section we can make any notes and add any attachments so things like credit terms that have been accepted you could attach that to the supplier's record perhaps you want to make some notes about contacting them next year regarding trade prices or whatever it is any notes that you think would be worth noting on the supplier's account and any attachments you think would be worth attaching can all be done in this section the last section is additional info, which won't be covered in this video. 
this is a more advanced area of QuickBooks Online, you can just leave it blank. And you can actually leave all these boxes blank if you wanted to, apart from the supply display name. That's the only thing you're required to enter. But as mentioned, I suggest you put in as much information as possible. We can then click Save. Example Supplier 1 will then be added. If we go to our supplier list here, you can see Example Supplier 1 is showing on our supplier list. The supplier is added to QuickBooks Online. We can now record invoices on QuickBooks Online from that supplier. We can record payments to that supplier and we can edit this supplier account. And I'll go through these things in the coming videos. But just a quick review, go to the supply module, go to new supplier, fill in the details, and click Save. The supplier will then be added to QuickBooks Online. I'll speak to you in the next video.